Hello everyone, Mephone and Son of Beast here, along with the commentators, as the NBA playoffs continues on 2K Sports. Now it's time for the conference semifinals in a second round of Eastern and Western Conference. It's next after this. <laughs> All right, light bulb. Are you ready for the next one? Yeah, I think I'm ready. I think this might be a very nice and neat. Touch into the feelings. It all does hang out. Uh, we can go for the next one of this game. We are back here with, along with me and light bulb. This is the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. This time, the Sixers and the Heat are doing things again as the series are tied here. After the finishing of the Jazz and Suns in Game 5 here at Phoenix. So far, we're about to see who is going to take the lead here for tonight. Who will it be? Will it be the Sixers or the Heat? Let's find out here on 2K Sports. It's night coming to you live at FDX Arena. Let the games begin. And for me and Lightbulb, will be along with the reporter of David Aldridge. Let's get started, team. Enjoy. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA Playoffs. Coming to you live down at FTX Arena, it's Game 5. And glad to be back here at this arena. It's about to be happening here. From this between of the Heat and the Sixers, we're about to see what's going to happen here in between. And right now, catching you on the sideline, David Ulrich. Well, last season, Miami paid the price of success. Heat was worn down from the shortest offseason in U.S. sports history, getting just seven weeks off. Coach Eric Spolster said it was a year like no other. You have to adapt and adjust. This is the life you chose and what you wanted to play deep into the playoffs. That's the price of chasing something great. Back to you guys. Well, he's, well, he's a lot of dictionary here. Thank you. With the status in between here of Joel and B and the other teams, what is the key here that does bring here for one of each uh, players that wants to get hyped into this gaming that wants to bring things on right to the next step? Well, the next step it may, it may be a very uh, tough and in, in be between opinions of this only ever again. It may be a tough one that I may have at all. And I be I'm betting that those two, Bam Adebayo and Joel and B, they may have it all in common. They may have a uh, lots of uh, same uh, same height average out there. Maybe a very tough one to try to slow things down by. Doc Rivers is his eighth season with the Philadelphia Sixers. His career record. It turns to be a little bit more dangerous out there than they have, excuse me, than they have ever done here before, like you did. Now the game starts. Let's get started here for game five. All filled up and ready to go. Harden on point guard. Then Joel Embiid in the center. Tobias Harris in point forward. And along with the other end, uh, Maxi in a shooting guard. And Matisse Feibel in a small forward. Along with the other end, now on the in the center. Joel Embiid was looking for a chance to block it, but it was too late. Bam Adebayo has his first bucket. Then it's Duncan Robinson in a shooting guard. Kyle Lowry in point guard. P.J. Tucker in the uh, point forward. Jimmy Butler in small forward. And, and of course, we do have plenty of, uh, I already talked about it here before, so yeah. I, I, that's all I have. Bernie's back. Glad to have him on here on the sideline. In between the uh, zones, uh, I'm definitely, uh, I'm definitely seeing what's going on right now. In between those two, well, you may have it all. Three for Lowry. Good on a triple on the outside. They are now up by the lead, five to three. What a resistance, yeah. This play out is just a hard one to give a by. And the bias Sarah slams down the dunk. This one now is to be up here with five five in the game. You can't go wrong with the uh, with the players that they are going for. If there is a player that wants to go right right by it, they are trying to knock it down, and they need something else to try to stop them. That's a great scoring drive here for Jimmy Butler, and now this one is up by two. 
James Harden on Larry. Taking it side, it's fading patient. Oh! Almost wanted to check it out there. I think that was beat PJ Tucker. I, I forget forgetting. Now I honestly I don't really see this man yet. Whoa, watch out! Bam on a bio was just slamming a dunk that hard. Sixers trail by four. And beat on on the bio. Trying to feed it. And this one goes off the rim. Solid D on Bam on a bio. Butler inside. You count that one! Jimmy Butler! Well, Deliver it. Watch that play one more time. That was a smokeout. Deliver it all alone. That Jimmy Butler knows his uh, secret here. Yeah. He's just like an amazing time that definitely knows his secret here. Yeah. What a stoppable run. And that was the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Uh, ultimate security internet. We all have so have any year, any contract. Only at AT&T. And Fiebel delivering it inside the paint here. They are trailing by four. Heat up by four. Lowry up to Butler. Butler right back to Lowry. Back to Robinson. Two minutes left in the first period. And P.J. Tucker up again. This one is a great D on Tyrese Maxey. Now they're coming back in to try to give it all they have. Harden up again. That releases up here for the layup. And it comes back down by two. They're really trying to let go things off here when they have pressure here in this run. Sometimes it, it really does things a lot. And, and you can't even remember what you're going to have to do here when the other players are trying to keep an eye on yours. So you got to do something here. Make it quick and try to get right through it. And just like that, it happened here last night here in Game 5 with a loss. And you definitely know that it was a hard one to take. Timeout has been called here for the Sixers as this will talk things over here with a minute and 19 to go. I'm pretty happy. It looks like the, uh, the players have it all down and mighty average out there. I'm thinking there is a great choice here for the team to get back in the game. You think so? <laughs> well, I, I bet, uh, bet you will try to sweep it around out there. There's a lot of stuff going on. In between the runs, sometimes the only zones can be the only one that describe it the best highlights of this real game. Changes here for Miami Heat and the Sixers as Danny Green is checked in. Along with Brooklyn Korkmaz and George Niang, along with Paul Millsap. The Heat are also making changes here too as the player of this one, uh, Tyler Hewitt, along with Victor Oladipo, as Jimmy Butler moves over to point four. The only thing that recognizes me the most here was Victor Oladipo. After playing here for the last couple seasons here with the Indiana Pacers before the mid-season, of course, the new season started with the Houston Rockets. It's all that happened to be him for sometimes he wants to get things off here on the run. And that time, it really happens to be on the best on his before LD. And a tremendous mobile one block here for Kyle Lowry to knock it down. Not a foul on the realistic here. It wasn't a tough one to make a shot. But he was delivering all the price he knows. Kyle Lowry was delivering off this man time advantage. Yang on Butler. Back to Harden. Back to Millsap. Autobio on him. Corkbaz moving it over. Shooting over on Hero, and that's going to be in the two pointer and tied it up. Lowry looking it over. Finds over Butler. Fights over to Oladipo. Oladipo has already made pick up an offensive foul out there with a charge, so it looks like he has his first foul to release him up here so far. Yeah, they did. 
it was too much for him to try to keep this up on the range. It's not going to be helpful enough to try to stop him. Oh, back pass. Oh, on a bio. And oop. Hold it up. Larry, can he make it? No, he cannot. That's the end of the first quarter. It's 13. The tying run. We'll come back to the second quarter once we give a break and get back in the game. We got a team full of guys that can score, a team full of guys that can defend, can get everybody else involved. Um, it's, a, it's a nice team, man. We're playing well. I know about Jimmy Butler here. He's now noticing his time. The only opinion on him, he was going to give him all his credit. And for sometimes for uh, Jimmy Butler, he was delivering up his moment. He really knows it's uh, one of his uh, greatest players here of all time. He was delivering up the best moment that he could ever play here before. The last touch was on George Yang as the Heat still keeps it alive here with only 12 seconds to shoot. And Hero's outside. Back over to Oladipo. Oladipo trying to work his way around. Five to shoot. Oladipo drive. That's good. And picking up the tie to break the lead. And it's now a two point advantage for Miami. Kirkmaz off to Niang. Martin on the look. Kirkmaz again. And it's up to Niang. And a one hand dunk delivers it up here on the timing. Kirkmaz with the assist. And it's still tying again. Hey, listen, there's no uh, chance that you want to slow things down here. you got to try to keep your way up here in the man, and then also you want to make sure you keep your eyes on the uh, river here. It's hard, and you have to go for it and keep your eyes on it. Oh, a depot makes a three-pointer. You're up the lead by three. What a show. It's amazing this guy has got some talents out there. Well, Victor Oladipo to stop him. The pressure gives him a good chance. Crookmaz on Oladipo. Millsap with the screen. Finds Millsap. And a dunk will put them right around the wraparound. As right now, this one is carried out to be a one-point trip. Now Hero's outside. Hero right over to Struess. Struess kicks off to Oladipo. And he's going to do it! Wow, Victor Oladipo was slamming it down. He really knows his strength out there. What a stop. Timeout called by the 76ers. They decided to talk things over. And it's now 3-12 to go in the first half of the period. It's 20-17. to 17. A wild performance round. They have all got to count it out now at that point. They deliver it up with the best play drive ever. New group changing here for the Celtics and the Heat as Fiebel is checked in. And right now on the other side here as Niang is checked out. Fires is checked back in along with Joel Embiid and James Harden. On Joel Embiid's going to be the little ring at the dunk. And Harden with the assist. He's going to come down the wire out there. And you know this all does turn out. Heroes, you bet. You better put a revenge on them. Now Hero got his first bucket and a dunk. And delivering a hard drive in this one feeling of, of Tyler Hero, he was the only player that had his advantage here from the uh, Rookie Player of the Year. Most of the decades out there from last season to, to this season, this was going to be a very tough one to try to keep his eye on the strength. I'm so sorry about that, guys. Martin Wright to Robinson. Drive inside, that goes inside, and Robinson gets the first bucket here for the Heat. Hero up by three. Harden on Hero, backing over to Maxi. Robinson, Harden back inside, that's a good hero, hero help, and it's not going to pick up in time, as MB takes his own time to make the shot. 
Miami in the lead. Hero up over the attack. Under two minutes left here in the first half of the game. Hero again. And a screen coming in for Spaz C.D. Martin. The shot, angle look, and Martin couldn't able to hold on the ball. This is a tough one. Not going to be good enough to try to like keep this one in the string. It's not going to be that very good at all. Hero back with it now. Martin, back to Stucker. Back to you over is Robinson. Robinson for three. Good in the triple. That gives him a good strength. It's up by five. Up by four, I meant. Harden on Hero. This is off to Martin. Little Harris up to Maxi. MB back to Harris. Back to Fievel. Fievel on Shrews. This one rules it in. Spay lead. And floater is good for Matisse Fievel. They're backing, trailing by two. And here's Hero. Swings it off to Streets. Struis backing over to Hero. Wants to switch things up here on offense to give it another try. Backing over is Tucker. Tucker over on B. That shot is going off target as Struis can't make the first shot. Harden again. Back over to Maxi. 20 seconds left to play. And in the middle. Great feed by DPJ Tucker as this one carries out for the number best by the Philadelphia Sixers. 10 seconds to go. Hero rolls it back to Tucker. Moves over to Martin. Four seconds to shoot. And Hero up. No good on the buzz beat. And that ends the first half. 27 to 25. We'll be right back with you right after this. First, we take you to David Aldridge first. We're the sideline. Halftime reporter up next. Thanks very much, Doc. A high scoring affair in the first half. Did you think coming in that it would be this kind of shootout? Not at all. But we're not playing good enough defense to guard anybody. So, yeah, we're just going to play better than keep the ball in front of us. Doc, thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. Please stand by for the halftime show to begin the first quarter. Let's have a recap and discuss. It was a closely contested first quarter for Miami. And in one stretch there, they were up by six. In the second quarter, they put in the work to create a slight scoring advantage. Kenny, let's start with you. What do you think about the heat? The passing is what kept the offense rolling. The communication has been tremendous. Guys are working as a unit and not as individuals. They've got to repeat that kind of ball movement in the second half. Chet, what do you think about Philadelphia? Right now, they're playing well only on one end of the court. All the energy is going to spill. And that's a shame. They're just going to keep giving up easy buckets and the game's going to get away from them. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. Well said. Thanks for joining. Time to get back in the action. Third quarter is about to start now. And we're about to start the third quarter. It's 27-25. A close game in between the two. The fighting rivalry matchups here. This turned out to be Victor Oladipo and their team of Jimmy Butler. And they have it all down in the point below. Yeah, Victor Oladipo was a deliver hard successful out there. Most of his time is like a pressure here. And also, sometimes that they've got some good ones here. I'm betting that Victor Oladipo can definitely stick with the team here to stick around later for next season. Lowry up. Racing drive picks for Lowry and it's five points in the game. You talk about that one here. The stepping cutters here for Kyle Lowry has it all in down in motion. He has it all down here. Just amazing. An excellent beat by them and it's touched by Butler. Philadelphia still has the ball with 4.33 to go. It's 29-25. Up again, Flyball. Knocking over to Harden. Harden up on Lowry. Try to stumble it in there. Harden lost the dunk. And it's Lowry with the rebound. And we're going back the other way. <laughs> I know, that was a tough one. It was a very close one to try to stop the dunk and the pressure here. 
I almost felt that it was going to be a cause and accident out there. Can't be a train collision. Oh, no way. <laughs> Joel Embiid has called a foul, and Kyle Lowry will shoot at the line for two. And with four or three to go, Kyle Lowry has never going to make it his shot here, and he was just hard on the pick. That pick on this drive was just hovering it up here with the ball in the air. Most of that time, it was a tough one to give that one a worthy credit score. For Kyle Lowry to give that one an all opinions on him, it was a tough one to try to keep him up here. To be a laser block. That first free throw for Lowry is good. And you talk about that one here for Kyle Lowry. He has it all even down on the pointage. Danny Green is checked in for Matisse Twivel. Both free throws for Lowry is good. Only four or three to go. It's seven points for Kyle Lowry. Here is Harden. Two to bring it up with two. Three pointer no good on the triple. Lowry back to Adebayo. Adebayo switches over to Butler. Back to Robinson. Swings it over to Butler. Moves inside. Gets a piece of this one for MB to stop one. What a great deed for Jim, for Joel. And Jimmy Butler would have to try to stop things to slow things down. And that gives a good traffic look here. Harden delivering up a two. Two-pointer edge was out there. All alone, it was going to be a very hard and chaos out there. Maybe a very tough one to try to exceed it through. Butler for three. Good! A triple range is up in. Seven points for Butler and Lowry with the assist. The fans are all roaring out there. A lot of great hustle. Three minutes left here in the third quarter. Maxi on Robinson. This one strings it over to Bambi, and he's fouled. That goes on Bam on a bio, his first personal, first team foul on Miami. The key of succeeding out there for Joel Embiid was delivering a situation out there. So far, it was uh, enough to try to like keep them on the run. Most of its simple timing was a little bit off, and a changing was a very hard impact on their score. Two shots is up here for MB. Stop the clock under three minutes. First bangers goes in. Now a new changer for the group as Millsap, Cook Boss, and the Anger checked in for all three players. And this one will be checking around here for all three players on the other side. Robinson and Butler and Victor Oladipo is checked in. Well, two guys are in switching game control. Oh, MB missed the second one. Big Earl Depot going in. Hang it out one in there. You bet the drive would count. Big Earl Depot says, up my shot. And it's sure rage. Keeps it alive in Russia. Victor Earl Depot was going to stand out there tall. It's like a one way or another. What a, what a throw down. Green on Millsap. Butler on him, tries to help the steal, Millsap up, and when carried short, Oladipo right to Butler, Butler back to Oladipo, moves it over to Lowry, Faye back to Alibio, moves back to Robinson, the shot, Faye, and it goes out to Oladipo, Oladipo up, blocks his rebound, and he makes it in time. Robinson up. Shot went off and trapped it, and it was a hard inbound to try to take its possession. That was a very hard one. It's very intense to get that one. It's a perfect call. And because what they've done here so far, that the teams really have it all what they count for. Wow, Joel B was delivering here with a dunk. To speak about that one here, this was all that happened here. Most all of the decade. Robinson for three. 
That goes off Tony Gio as Adebayo back to Lowry. Two from the Victor Oladipo. Now back to Lowry. Back to Oladipo. Five to shoot. Shoots inside. Good. Two pointer makes the release mate. And they're up by eight. Philadelphia trailing by eight. Court boss on Oladipo. Now he gets six in control. And he's going to take his turn to take a slam dunk. This one rolls back in by six. Lowry back to Adebayo. Swings back to Lowry. And he went out of bounds too far ahead. And it's a turnover on Miami. He was going out of control with the focus of speed. It was not enough to try to keep the momentum out there. It was too much for him to try to slow it down. And with all that question concern out there, it may have been very hard to try to work things by to the hidden dust. Five will reach up the green. Brings it over to Paul Millsap. Niang for three. Off free target and uh, here. Adebayo switches over to Hero. Switching back to Butler. Back to Hero. Takes a shot off an angle. The throw is off and out of the way. 15 seconds to go for the third period. Out of bounds! Again on the turnover. That puts a fight revenge here on the other hand. You call that Lowry was already stepped out of bounds here and most of the time there was a, a very a di difficult situation here. Well, now you get that one in fact. A good opinion is always reserved. You are outside. What the fade in shoots up off the target, and the third quarter is ended. 38 32. Full quarter is coming up right after the break. We're looking for a lead here. I think Miami Heat will go ahead and try to win it all, and we'll see how well they do. Just a moment right now to reveal the State Farm Assist of the Game. I'm pretty impressive right now because what they've done so far, releasing gear for the shots, and for Butler, of course, he delivers it up for the three-point firing range. He is delivering us a killer. And for Kyle Lowry for himself here to make the pass one even much better than he had. Fourth quarter all set to go here. Glad you could join us here for today. And we will be wrapping things up here in game five to finish off the run. Harrison Martin, fighting shot, and he takes that dunk. Went down on floor, but he's no foul called. This was all that happened to be him, one time and another. It really didn't caught on, and from over to that one, it was a very uh, tough one to try to slow things down ahead. Oladipo right to Martin. Martin up again, back to Hero. Shot clock down to five. Oladipo over Fiebel. Rebounded up by Tucker. Back to Hero. Around the layup. The drive crushed his feelings. Tyler Hero, he was definitely a one of the best uh, players. He's trying to give it up on a great run. A great feed, a great terrific uh, drive. What a stoppage on the run. Hard and back to Maxi. Under four minutes left here to play. Shot clock turning it off. The wire down, and it's Lowry with the rebound. He's delivering us a great timing effort out there. They were all over this place. They may have it all down. Oladipo missed the three, two point around, which opportunity. Hero on the outside. And Hero will have to call timeout here because the offensive wasn't working enough. It all happened to be here. For most of us, some, quite sometimes, if you're not sure what's going on, well, just try to freeze it right away.
some new changes here for the Miami Heat on offense. As right now they have it all even coiled up and we're back in there. Six to shoot. Hero outside. Three went too short. Nah, not so close enough to make that one a call. It was a tough one to make the inbounding and block that tricky for Hero to make a three point. And beat outside, covered by Bam on a bio. Right over to Harris on Lowry. Six to shoot. Harris, hard in the three. Ooh, and turn it off too close. And in three minutes, is counting by. Now, here's Hero. Hero finds P.J. Tucker. Back to Oladipo. And Oladipo, oh boy. Moves back to Lowry. Three to shoot. Hero! Three-pointer can't make it a go. They're all moving the ball quickly down below here for Miami. But now this one could be a chance now. They're down by six. And they're now down by four. This was a scoring leading joint here. Embiid and Oladipo are tied up by 11. Now it's Avayo. Avayo with the screen on BJ Tucker. Over Harris and a shot made by Tobias Harris. They're up again. Bam out of bio has eight. Harden again. Two minutes left in the fourth quarter. The clock is down in the wire to try to take things all down on the board. Out of bio with the block. Does it again. Stopping it. Oh, he just denies it. Wow, you kill that one momentum out there. Bam out of bio is on a bammer. What a shot. Oladipo outside, and went out of bounds. There went too much control out there, he couldn't try to slow it down, and the Sixers will call timeout. As Fieball is out, and Danny Green checked back in, and Jimmy Butler checking in here on the Dual Depot. We still got some, a lot of some time left here for the Sixers, and they wanted to keep it back in there. Hopefully there might be another way to get right, right around it. Well, you, you might be sure how this one is going to be tough enough to get right, right by. They really want something else to try to work their way on the attack and try to like keep it back in here as long as possible here. The moment that you have, the more time it will take your opponents to reach out to your next opponent for this matchup, you in a conference finals, if you make it or not. That might be the only clue, but you might have it all. And now to close this one off with our New Balance player of the game in game number five. This one goes out to Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry was a deficiency in this player controlling. Off into a great start, and this one is a deliver out there under pressure. What a save out there for Lowry, and their teammates are all looking for their applauses to start their day on this run. Afternoon changes up here. This one's up here by Maxi. Makes a shot. Comes down in by. And they're now down by four. A minute and a half to go. Lowry up to Adebayo. Rolls back to Robinson. Rolls it back to Lowry. Right over to Adebayo. Back to Lowry. Moves it over to Robinson for three. Good in the triple. And it's Lowry with the assist. Well, he's delivering it up here so far. Those two guys are really good. So far, it looks like Kyle Lowry is on the street. And Arden delivering back up with another three-pointer to down by four. Here's Lowry. He scored seven points, three assists, the no, five assists, and last minute has come down on the board. Thomas into Tucker. Robinson, number three, good in the triple. It's a number two point, number three point advantage for Duncan Robinson, and assist by BJ Tucker. Harden right over to MB. Trying to go over it. Back to Green. Back to Harris. Harris on the bio, five to shoot. Harden up again, three pointer up. 
of the target. And that will be not in time for release bit. The team is always having some uh, difficult timing down there. It may be very tough for him to try to like give him all they've got. But you never know if it's gonna come down to you towards you or not. Five to shoot. And Butler. Lowry for the vice leader. And up. And that's it. That ends off the fifth game as the Miami Heat wins 48 to 41. Now they're back in the lead. What a terrific opportunity, Chance. They've done a great job out there. They have it all killed out their momentum. Congratulating the team. I hope the 76ers will have to end it here. Time now to send you on the sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Tyler, they're a good road team, but you guys got a good win at home and took care of business on the home floor. Yeah, we had to be locked in. We know how good they are. Uh, they come in every time we're playing with a lot of energy, a lot of focus. So come in here, you know, we got to get stops. We know how tough they are. Uh, make a couple shots. You know, get out of here with the W. Hard fought, but well earned. Congrats on the win. Back to you. All right, David, thank you very much for your time. And what a hustle has been here. All five games, fifth games has been complete. And right now, game six will be happening only three games here. The Bucks and Celtics, Sixers and Heat, and one Western Conference game as the Suns and Jazz play here at Utah. Now we close things off here with the three star players of the game. We start off with you, Lightbulb. You take it first. Thank you very much for your time. I've always appreciated you. A lot of fun uh, as a position going on here in the playoff match. Here for number three, we have uh, number one that brings here, Joel Embiid. 15 minutes on the court, 11 points, 9 rebounds. Only made three dunks here, and it was a tough one to try to keep the eyes on the young man. It really does turn out to be the standout, but I'm thinking it might be a great one to keep an eyes on here. For sure, it gets. Number two for you, son of beast. All right, thank you very much, Joe Lightbulb. Number two is Victor Oladipo. He listens us up here on one of the bestest tricks here, as Victor Oladipo has two dunks, 11 points, two rebounds. What a tough one it turns out. And not to believe it here, we got a tie in between Duncan Robinson and Victor Oladipo. That will be tied here right in front. 11 points and two rebounds. But right now, they all got to save one except for the dunk. So that is all we have here in game five. Make sure you tune in to game number six as we have another matchup here coming back at the TD Garden, TD Garden Arena and along with the other one of Vivint Smart Home Arena and back in Wells Fargo Center. So for me as Son of Beast, along with Lightbulb, this has been a presentation of the NBA Playoffs of the conference semifinals in game five. We'd like to thank you all for watching, and until next time, peace out everyone for a while as the NBA playoffs of the NBA 2K22 dial. Good night for the magic city of Miami, along with the brotherly love of Philadelphia. Keep tuning in here for another NBA playoffs of 2K Sports, along with the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs. Me and Lightbulb will be back here for our next couple of each games before the finals of the conference. Thank you and have a good night.